about to begin. Let's take so yeah, it one of one of the first round matches is a cruiserweight Olympics. ladder match. And of course, one of them is coming out. Oh, Hoovy's coming out to the fucking Macarena. Not quite the Macarena. I'd have to mute it. It's not the Macarena. It's like a ripoff of the Macarena. But of course, Juventud Guerrera. Hey, Macarena racist. It's the Macarena. Thank you, Dimakara. This rail looks like this. Not rail. This ramp looks like the. The slide at Discovery Zone back in the day with like the we little bars, where you like you slid down the, like in the, the bars rolled. Here comes Hoovy in his leather daddy gear with the mask back on. So the story behind this, it's for the uh, International Cruiserweight Championship. Hey, Optimum Vision, um, the Intercontinental that, that belt up there did not belong to uh to the wwa did not even belong to hoovy or psychosis hoovy worked an indie show in california for a guy named kirk white who uh, uh close friends with bret hart uh ran you know, is when one of those like old promoters that runs like all these conventions throughout the years uh hoovy won his title and then stole it just took it and that's what they're wrestling over. And I guess Kurt White told some of the wrestlers on their show, hey, I will give you money if you steal this back from Hoovy. And I don't think they did. Finally, finally, the juice has come back to Australia. Yes, last time they were here, I think they mentioned in the commentary, Hooventude was deported for having an ecstasy binge at a hotel. That's amazing, Cecil. Hoovy and Hannibal. I just want to hear them, like, call in the match. Hey, uh, Hoovy, uh, body slam? Also, Hoovy, I have a question. Kevin Owen, do you think he uh, need to wrestle without shirt on? I don't know why I'm making it sound like he doesn't know to speak oh, English. Not a juice fan? Um, You're gonna have yeah. that, that's my animal. I've told I've, I've I think I've told my hoovy story on uh, WWE Deep Cuts live before. He uh, wrestled a weird lucha show down the road from my house, and when he walked out, he like did the hoovy like headbang thing and screamed, "Everybody, fuck somebody tonight!" Um, and it was him against Extreme Tiger, who was in a TNA for a bit. And then the promoter, like, legitimately put himself in there as a, like, at the last minute as a three-way because he wanted to wrestle Hoovy. Um, and they had a really shitty match. And then afterwards, the promoter was trying to shoot an angle to, like, almost force Hoovy to come back to wrestle him in a singles. And Hoovy just walked away and went to his gimmick table. And then uh, my son Noli, who was, I believe, five or six at the time, little, little, little fella, he gets up on Hoovy's lap to take a picture after the show, and Hoovy goes, hello, little boy, are you juicy tonight? To which my son says, yes, I am juicy. I love Australia. I love Australia. He'd been back in the country what since this WWE show. We are so happy to be bringing pay-per-view right here from Sydney at the Superdome. Into your home. Psychosis. And we have the bell for the opening For a guy who wore a crazy ass wig with his mask for years. Very sensible haircut once he took the hood off. Former four time WCW Cruiserweight Champion, Psychosis, has held that belt as well. I gotta say, there's a lot to make fun of with this show. The sound mix, considering they're uh, piping it over the PA system for the commentary, really good. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> yes. Very into slipping a shrimp into a Barbie, that Jerry Lawler. We are live from the Sydney Superdome. There's an official in the ring for this ladder match because nobody knows what they're doing. Everybody's confused. He's out like a light. Object of the match is to set the ladder in the ring, climb the ladder to the top, and grab that international cruiserweight title. And if you want to use the ladder to knock your opponent senseless in the meantime, that's okay too. Wow. 
The ring light seems really bright. Like, like normally the issues with these like third rate pay-per-view shows is the, the the ring lights aren't bright enough. What is, what is what is he doing? Yeah, they did this ladder match every night for like two weeks on this tour. Certainly, Juventud Guerrera and Psychosis have been in the ring with each other many times, but never like this before. Unbelievable! A teeter totter. Takes the brunt of that ladder right to the face. Psychosis is gonna hate ladders after this match. And certainly, Psychosis and Juventud Guerrera. Have something to show the fans of Australia. Yeah, this is definitely a ladder match where the two guys are like, the ladder on we the have to do this rope. every and night. Has been, uh, Let's figure out a way to just get out of it without getting hurt. Oh, geez. Psychosis has been busted open. Well, what do you expect? Getting hit in the head with a ladder about four or five times. The juice working yeah, this on that is, it was a crazy boots. period in Australian wrestling. Psychosis. There's this, there was the Rodman Down Under shows, the I Generation Wrestling, where like they almost also booked a Ultimate Warrior return tour before he like unsurprisingly went insane. No use going for a pinfall, nobody's gonna win the match that way, look out! Oh, Hooventud, right down on that ladder. I would not be surprised, Dale Sandiford on YouTube, if the WWE Heavyweight title was the Rodman Down Under Heavyweight title. I would not be surprised one bit. Well, certainly that international cruiserweight title on the line. I, th I think Andrew McManus was involved in those shows too. Like him and that promoter had a like a spat, and that's why Andrew started promoting the WWE shows. Yeah, like the crowd lighting's good. It's just there's a couple shots like like the sh like the the floor cam shots with just a guy laying in the ring. It's like you can barely see him. Hey, Nathan. Oh. Psychosis really hated his bubble. This is the very first one. We're going to go chronologically over the coming months with these. We're not going to do them back to back to back, but we'll, we'll, we'll do all of them. And this could do it. Psychosis now is going to make a beeline for that ladder. Here we go. That ladder must be positioned right for Psychosis to climb to the very top. There, this is my least favorite part of the wrestling the video games. On, trying to get the ladder in the, the right spot. Oh, no. oh. oh. oh my gosh. That would be an amazing seesaw. Or rather, Hooven to drop kicking that ladder. Psychosis then close. That is Jeremy Borash on commentary with Jerry the King Lawler. That international cruiserweight title. This is Jer during Jerry Lawler's weird period where he uh, has nothing to do but watch quit WWE two. because of his wife, and then she left him. Hello, Jackson on YouTube. I'm doing fine. His psychosis is bleeding. Very cool, Jackson. Hey, Sean Drux, you're, this is the first match. You're fine. Hey, Grunion. Yeah, I hate I hate doing ladder matches in like the 2K games. Like it's just you got to get it in just the right spot, and if you don't, you know, it forces you to do like a top rope dive, and then you hurt yourself. Also, these ladders seem very sketchy for a promotion that spent so much money on everything else. Oh. Like I always get scared of the uh, the hinges inside the ladders, like like when I'm handling let's say a ladder at home, I'm always afraid I'm gonna like cut my hands. I'm a weirdo like that. Our opening contest here at WWA the Inception, our first match. Oh, down oh. on the juice! Oh man! And these two are relentless. These guys aren't really falling Absolute off of ladders. Of They're just the dropping contest. them on each other what's at stake here, King. I told you, these guys can't stand each other. They could warm up to each other if they were cremated together. I love this kind of match. Yeah, this is the exact opposite of that crazy Crusher Hellstorm oh, match. Into the corner. Man. Right into that well, like, how can we just not get hurt? Positions the ladder. Nope. Exactly, it, it, Brian. It, it, there it, it, there it, should be. What do we have here? 
Like it's not a it's not a real wrestling show. There should be a circle. Like put the ladder here. Yeah, it's crazy. Like that match is something of legend. Like for years, there would be like a clip or two that would like circulate online, and then a couple years ago, oh shit, Hoovy almost ate it, and oh the referee gets hit with the ladder. That was great. Best working ladder in the business. Um, and then yeah, a couple of years ago, that like the eight, the, the HD version of that show went online. That's that's amazing. It's it's one of those and it's one of those matches that like one of the few high spot based matches, Crazy Crusher and Hellstorm, that will always be spectacular because nobody's crazy enough to do that shit. And there's just this whole mythos around it now because it just happened on a show, a little show in Canada. It didn't blow up huge at the time because that promotion didn't have like amazing tape circulation. You know? Like they had, it was okay. Like they brought in like AJ and Daniels and them, but like... It wasn't like on a Ring of Honor show. It was on an EWR show in Quebec. But it was so crazy that everybody heard about it. And it was one of the one of the last matches where it was like, did you hear about this? And it was like whispered around. What can Psychosis do? Yeah, Hoovy's like, I'm just going to do my finish and then grab the belt. We're going to do nothing funny with the ladders. It's just a matter of feet before the Juice grabs the International Cruiserweight title. Get it. And Psychosis is like, I'll pretend to get up there. Um, also, to answer, answer Frank Castle on YouTube from a minute ago, um, it was this, it, this was run by an Australian uh, concert promoter named Andrew McManus. He was a big wrestling fan, and when like all this talent became available after WCW and ECW closed, he's like, "Let's try something." Did either of them? I, did say, I don't think they did. I don't think either of them wrestled for Ian. Like Ray wrestled for Ian. Nettie wrestled for Ian. I don't think Psychosis or Hoovy did. And we'll go on against the winner of our next contest. I told you. Uh, moving to it, obviously, obviously in pain. Those ribs busted open. There is. He can't even hold Those ribs are busted open. <laughs> that would mean like your spleen's coming. With a devious plan of attack tonight. These matches. It's not going to be easy on anybody to advance. Even if you win, you're. Hoovy looks like you know, itty bitty test in those pants. He has won that belt so many times. Should have wrestled like him. He has been world champion. He has sat in that seat. He has rode first class to those airplanes as the world champion. Yeah, so maybe in like the Saw or like a horror movie where you get busted open ribs. He is going to make sure that it is a fighting champion and a champion worthy.